Okay, call me a hoarder, but this is my microprocessor collection. Well, not this box. This one is just um, heat sinks with the fans still on them, but they all they all came out of computers. And we got a whole bunch of Pentium 2s and 3s. I pulled these out of a whole bunch of IBM machines many years ago. And then there's some other microprocessors, probably Pentium 1s here with the fans still attached on them. And there's some more Pentium 1s. Got, got a really nice gold-plated gold cover on this one, but everything else is just ceramic or circuit board style. And there's some Pentium 3s with the heat sinks removed. And here's my giant stack of 486s. Look at that. Got a little AMD processor here, copyright 1999. And there's some Pentium 4s. A little side note here. It's very interesting how the technology has advanced from these 486s and Pentium 1s mounted directly on the motherboard to Pentium 2s and 3s in these vertical packages. And that must have been a dead end because Intel went straight back to Pentium 4s mounted on the motherboard again. So I'm not sure how that came about, but little interesting historical perspective.